GeoGebra and we're going to have a look at creating a few snowflakes here or just one snowflake I should say. I'm going to do one or two things to get things set up. Um, inside options I'm going to turn off labeling so I don't want any points labeled on the diagram and inside the view option here I'm going to turn off the axes so I'm waiting working on a blank piece of paper. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I've got a little more room to play with. I'm not going to be looking too much at the algebra down this side. We're going to start with the center of our snowflake which is just a point so I use the point tool here and click here to make a point. We're then going to have a line of symmetry so that's going to need a second point. Two points to find a line So that's going to be the basis of the um, transformations which we're going to do. The snowflake itself is going to be based on a quadrilateral, so we're going to need four corners for the quadrilateral. One, two, three, four. They're just four points at the moment. I'm going to construct a quadrilateral around them. So here we go. One, two, three, four and then back to where we started. Brown isn't a particularly snowy colour, so I'm going to change the object properties here in colour to choose something which is a little more snowy. How about that for a blue? Close that. That's already looking more wintry, don't you think? OK, so snowflake symmetry is order 6 rotational symmetry, so let's have a go at that first. We take our object here. Oh, yeah, here we go. So down on this one we've got some transformations. Rotate object about point by angle. That's what we're wanting to do. We get helpful hints. Select object to rotate, then the center point, and then specify an angle. I don't want 45 degrees, I want 60 degrees to get six um, order six rotation. And we're going to go around counterclockwise. So there's the first image. Now before I rotate this round, I'm just going to hide these blue corners here. So I'm going to turn off show object there, and there, and there, and there. That's just a stylistic thing. OK, point to the object, point to the centre, specify the angle. Unfortunately, remember, point to the object, point to the centre. Let's do that again. Point to the object, point to the centre, 60 degrees. Point to the object, point to the centre, point to the object, point to the centre. And now we've got our order six rotation symmetry. We've not quite got a snowflake yet, because we also want reflection symmetry here, mirror symmetry. So using my, um, I don't know, we're going to do, instead of rotating an object about an angle, we're going to reflect an object in a line. Select object to reflect, which is going to be all that we've drawn so far, and then select a line in which to reflect. And there we go, that's our snowflake done. I'm going to hide these corners, so again they don't, oops, that's the wrong option. I'm going to hide these corners so they don't clutter up the diagram. And I'm going to hide this line here. So now what can we do with this? Well, let's move over to the pointer tool. And you'll see that because we started with this quadrilateral, we get a very basic sort of snowflake shape. As I move one of these corners, the snowflake looks more or less complicated. Let's try moving one of the other corners. Again, this stays order six rotation symmetry and six lines of symmetry. So that's all very good fun. The center of the rotation we can move as well to make more or again less complicated snowflakes. This doesn't actually do very much, it just changes where the mirror line, where the, ref where the line of reflection falls. Oh, that's looking very nice. Moving these into more and more outlandish positions. We lose some of the original quadrilateral idea here. But we definitely get something which looks suitably wintry. And then we could hide those other corners and print that off and we've got the basis for a lovely Christmas card, I'd have thought. Okay.